Hey, it's Darlene. Welcome to my channel. So I did a really fun thing. I grabbed a bunch of my cardstock scraps, and these are all cardstocks from cutcardstock.com. I'll have the information on my in the link down below. Um, but I punched them into one and a quarter inch circles. Now look at that cutter. There's like a little notch, and the circles fit perfectly there. So I wasn't I was able to cut them in half perfectly. So I started just kind of grabbing any colors, just kind of random, no particular order, no particular tone. And right now I'm just kind of setting the stage. I'm deciding how many can fit. And once I did that, I realized I really wanted it to be a little bit more, is organized the right word? So what I did is I did a darker and a lighter tone of each color. So you can see how there's a dark green and a light green, blue, light blue, dark blue, etc. Um, so I think in my mind, it just looks so much better. And then I used some really old square adhesive strips that I've had probably when I first started scrapbooking, so you know it's been years. But hey, they were still sticky. But I just peeled them and put them on to kind of attach the two together so I would it was easy for me to move them around. And I didn't really want to glue them down uh, permanently until I knew the placement and where I wanted them. So once I did that, or once I knew, you can see I just removed the backing off those little square strips, and then I used some liquid glue to adhere the rest down. Love the way it looks so far. So colorful, so fun, and so easy. So again, it was a one and a quarter inch punch and um, just paper scraps. And you can, I was thinking, you could really use that with some pattern paper too. That would be really cool. So um, I stamped this image, and this is an old stamping up image. I actually was gifted this from a friend of mine who um, her mother passed away and she gave me a bunch of her stamps. Now I just grabbed a watercolor marker and I just kind of, I don't wanna say scribbled because I definitely didn't scribble, but you can see I'm really not paying a lot of close attention to details. I mean, a lot of white space, which I absolutely love. I don't even know what made me decide to do it this way, but I love the way it looked and I'm so happy I wasn't so particular about filling the entire thing. Now I did use alcohol markers for the flesh. I really do like using alcohol markers for flesh because of, um, you don't see the blending marks. So I did grab my uh, tri-blend and I just did a really light, fair skinned and then did a little bit of shadowing. And then I grabbed a brown and kind of did the same thing with that little hat that I'm working on right now. I also used a blue gray, the very lightest blue gray on those triple uh, markers to um, put in like what should be like kind of white space and also do a quick shadow around the figures. Now I just use my small sharp point scissors, I almost said stickers, <laughs> that would be crazy, and just cut around the image. So originally I was cutting around them as one piece, but you'll see later I changed my mind. Now that's just a punch circle of, of vellum. I was gifted a ton of vellum recently and I really need to start using them. So um, that's what I decided to do to kind of separate the little China dolls from you know the, the card base with all that gorgeous color, but also the vellum doesn't really take away that gorgeous color. Now, if you've worked with vellum, you know you cannot put adhesive all over it because it will show through. So I kind of just eyeballed where I was gonna put the little China, uh, China dolls, and then I used um, the double-sided tape just right in the middle, kind of like a V shape, because that is where I'm going to adhere the vellum circle to the card base, and then I'm also going to cover it with the little china dolls. So I believe, yeah, this one I just glued directly onto it flat, and then I use a foam adhesive for the female one, but it just kind of gives it a little bit more dimension. Totally love this card, like I said, and look at how super easy it was. And this is just scraps, man. You don't need to go out and buy yourself anything in particular. Everything is what you already have. I do like to use acrylic blocks to hold down glued items because I think it just kind of adds to the adhe adhesion and makes sure that it does stick. So once I put the second um, image on, I knew I needed to put some sort of sentiment and then I just happened to see a thank you stamp on my desk. So that's why I chose that. And again, use a scrap piece of white paper use some black ink, stamped it, and that's pretty much it. Super fun card. So I hope you like this card, and if you do, hit that like button or thumbs up, 
and also hit the subscribe button. I'm getting really close to numbers that I really like. I think I just passed 600. I'm super excited about that. So please hit the subscribe, subscribe button. <laughs> I would appreciate that. I do post two videos a week. One is always scrapbooking and the second is whatever it is I'm creating in the command center. The command center is the name of my scrap room and also the name of my blog. I'll have a link down below to my blog and it'll have all the details of this card as far as where I got the products um, and uh, kind of give you more close-ups on the pictures and things like that. But thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it and I hope you do decide to hit subscribe. You can also hit that notification bell because you will be notified of any new videos that I post. Thanks again for watching. Bye.